In the last video, we completed study sheet one of one. Uh, the question we answered was, how is the safety program doing? Uh, so if you got to the point where we were, you did the figures, you scatter plots, you should have interpreted and written some paragraphs in your uh, Excel document that explains what those mean. <clears throat> on the second sheet, the first thing we want to do is sort, and this, we're going to answer the question, you know, where should we focus? We've determined the performance of the safety program. Now we want to let management know where we should be focusing our attention. And so I've got kind of a pseudo, you know, basically you have to uh, customize it to what you have. But let's go to the Excel. And as you can see, this is the uh, answering the question, how's the safety program performing? Uh, and I, and I, I believe I had shown you... Uh, what happens with the outliers in and out, and yeah, I think you now see why I did that. So what I'm going to do is hit the apex point, get everything highlighted, and paste to a new tab. And now this new tab is by department. Oh, I can put a space in there. So now I'm trying to figure out where. Now, depending on what sort of data set you have, maybe you have a job title um, that you can work with. But in this case, we don't. We've got uh, I've got this weird Dropbox thing here. Uh, we've got the uh, work comp class code. So that's what I'm going to use as a proxy for the where. So I need to highlight everything. Oh. There we go. And I'm going to sort by, remember I go to data, sort, and it's got the header rows here. So I want to go to the um, work comp class code. One is the description, one is the code. They're both the same thing, I assume. I hope that I did that right. Usually you don't get that warning. We got 839. I love everything looks right so far. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to clean up down here, and then I will... Um, uh, zoom it back in, if you will. Uh, the year... It's not going to be that helpful. Um, the totals... I'm going to get rid of this. Get rid of this. It didn't delete it from the other page. Something I brought over. And I really think that... I might just get rid of these, too. Um, I can always bring them back if I need to. Uh, I think all I'm going to lose is the stuff I had written over on the side there. So now I need to reinsert to make some room. Insert and then Control Y to open it up. All right. So now I've got what I need. I've got the class code, and then I'm going to have the um, number of claims going to have the percent claims and then I'm going to should I add up all the individual amounts I bet I could do that but that means I have to bring this over one because then everything lines up now I can do this now we don't have to do this uh, I'm going to do it. I, all I'm really going to be um, interested in is the total paid and then the percent total paid. And then I can get my risk priority number. But before I do that, I could also get the um, average paid. Or I could just say the average per claim. And I could figure out the number of zero dollars. I could figure out the number of open. There's a lot of thin, lot of ways you can go with it. But first, let's go capture all of the um, code. So this is this is what you do. Is you know I want to I sorted by a certain thing, and now I'm going to analyze by that certain thing. And it's these work comp class codes. So what I do is I go all the way to the top. Now, if you know how to do pivot tables, that's the simpler way. But I'm showing you the long way. In class, you'll get a different one. So three six one two is pump manufacturing, 3629 is precision parts. What I did is I just hit control C to copy. You have to be very careful with the spelling. Um, we will check everything um, when I've completed it to make sure I haven't missed anything. So precision parts, let me get to machine shop. Is that it? 
Oh, radio apparatus. Capture these. And is that it? Okay, so this is a unique data set. Um, it doesn't have much in the way of where to go. It's not going to be super helpful, but we're still going to see where it goes. So to do this, I do a count if. I do a count if on column J, because J is where these codes are. So for number of claims, I go equal count if parentheses, and I get that little thing there that shows me what I need. So I have to put in the range. The range is J2 to J839. It lit up. And what I wanted to do is count these. Okay. Uh, to drag it down, I need to freeze the rows above. So I put a dollar sign in front of the 2 and a dollar sign in front of the 839. And now I can click and drag. And now we're going to see if it equals 838. Equals sum. Just click and drag it. 838. Okay, good. So everything was fine. I mean, it, it was a four digit number, so it was easy. Um, now, the number of claims, this is where a lot of people get it wrong. Um, uh, from a frequency perspective, I mean, we could look down here and see what these frequencies are. We know that 3632 has got the most. There's one from pump. And just looking at the numbers right here, I keep jumping through it. I apologize. Um, there we go. It's not going to change much. If it was, if, it, if we were a couple um, claims off or whatever that would show the majority, I would consider those back in. So what I'm going to do is, to figure out the percent, I'm going to take the number that's here and divide it by the original total. And the original total was 850. And highlight these. And then I'm going to turn those into percentages. And I'll probably, there. That should equal about 100. Well, it's going to be, uh, it's going to be more than. So it's it's not going to equal 100%. It's going to be a little bit different. Um, I mean, there should be a few more in here to be. It's I guess it's going to be less than 100%. I think that's what it would be. So let's calculate now the amount that was been paid for these particular departments. And so if you'll remember, what we're going to use is the sum if, and it's sum if. Uh, first, we give the original range. The original range is the J2 to J839. And I can go over there and look to make sure. Because again, it, it's it's the criterion that is going to let you, there, see, it's right there, uh, let you sort it. Uh, I then have to get common criteria, and that's the class code. So every claim with that class code, I, what do I want it to add up? I want to add it up to the, the matching L2 to L839. 839. So now what I need to do is go back and figure out what I need to put dollar signs in front of. So I'm going to be dragging this both down and across, which means I need to freeze both the J and the 2, the J and the 839. I need to freeze the, um, the I, which is the class code to my left. But I want the 844 to go down to 845 to go to 846, 847 as I move it. From above, I want the L to, I want the the column to, to move as I copy and drag, or let me see, or copy and paste when I drag it. <laughs> it sounds weird, but I want to keep the two and the 839 solid. So now that I've done that, now I just have to turn this into a currency with no decimal points, and like that. Okay, now I can drag that down, and I can drag it over. There we go. I'll get these totals equals the sum. Okay. And drag that over. Now we can test these. So what I can do is I can go up here and go equal sum L2 to L839. And as long as they all match up, and I'm pretty sure they're going to, we're good. See? So that's a way to kind of quality check what's going on. Percent total paid. This is where we have to do this number divided by the original. And the original is, I have to look it up. Oh, we deleted it, didn't we? Oh, man. I'm going to cheat. I'm going to go back over to the original. It's this. You know what? That's not the right way to do it. I'm going to go back and write it down here. 
2338. 2338. Uh, 738. 2338. 728. Is that right? What am I losing my mind? 738. I, I would write it down, but I'm, uh, I'm trying to do this all on here, and it's. Yeah. All right, let's go up here and change this. And I'm going to divide it by 233. 8738. I'm going to turn it into a percent so it's correct. Percentage. I'll just go one decimal point. That's what I did for the other one. And there we go. And that's only going to add up to uh, a certain percent. Oh, that's the total. Oh, see, <laughs> yeah. So this all this is all the total line right here. So okay, so it's say 15. I was like, boy, that's going to add up over more 100. Okay, so now the average. Now there's two ways we can do this. If we were to go up and get the ranges, we could do the ad, type in average and put in the ranges from above, or uh, we can go just straight up uh, the total paid divided by the count. Because that's what well, that's what it does. One thing we were going to want to do is probably look and see how many um, $0 claims there are, how many open claims there are. That's all important information. And this will calculate the overall average there. Interesting. So that has the most expensive. Let's see how many $0 claims. And this, so this is going to be interesting um, to me. <laughs> I'm going to look and I'm going to figure out how many $0 claims. I'm grabbing a pencil here and I'm going to write down the ranges for. Um, I'm trying to find a, a clean piece of paper to write on. Um, I'm going to be able to determine, there they are, the number of $0 claims. So 3612 goes from row 2. And is, I'm doing this manual again when you can do um, to pivot tables. It goes a, little bit, goes a little bit quicker. So 3612 goes all the way to row 15. And then I've got 3629 goes from row, starts on row 16. And I'm going to scroll down. This will all make sense in a moment. Uh, and that goes to 157. Then the code 3632 goes from 158. This is going to take a while. This is one of the bigger ones. Maybe I should skip it down just to go faster. Oh, went past it. Where does it go? 794. And then 3681 is 795 to um, 839, because that's where it goes to. So usually you have way more than four classes, but eh, this is the data set. All right, so let's go over here. Let's find the number of $0 claims. Number of uh, $0 claims, because then we'll find out the paid amount versus the overall or total average. So here's what we're going to do is equals count, count if, and I want to count the number of zero entries into Q. So this first one, which is the code 3612, I'm counting if, um, again, it's, it's, it's Q, that's total paid. So I go Q2 to Q15, because remember, that's what I had found out before, comma, and what I wanted to find is zeros. We found four. Count if, and it's now Q16 to Q157. How many zeros do I have in there? Count if. There should be a lot more in this one. Q158 to Q794. How many zeros? And count if Q795 to Q839. How many zeros? Um, we can figure out the total number of zeros up here if I just go equal count if 
from Q2 to Q839, these zeros total. Oh, okay, and then I gotta add these up. <coughs> Hopefully it equals 1 over 102. Yep, so I'm good. So that's the number of $0 claims. Now if I want to figure out the paid average, so um, if something was actually paid, what's the average versus counting all those zeros? We calculate it by going equal, it's the total paid, divided by the original count, so I go over and click on that, minus the number of $0 claims. Right there. Okay, so it went up from 299 to 4,187. Um, Let's see what that did. Format. This is a currency, $0. Got to keep the units correct. That went up considerably, so there must be some expensive claims in that top one. Um, is that the precision? What have we got here? Got a twenty-one thousand. That's is the is it that twenty-one thousand just driving it up because it's so few in pump manufacturing? This is the one I'm looking at right now. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, that's it. That's driving everything up. I think. Got a twenty-one. Got a couple sixes, and that's really it. It's kind of give us an, a false sense. Both hands and lower arms. Uh, di weird name syndrome, possible carpal tunnel. Hands started feeling numb. So that's carpal tunnel machines twisting. Um, cost the company 21000 Well, we could also do the max and see what the max percent is. That would give us an idea of um, if, there, if there's an expensive claim in that group that's going to cause a little bit of bias can definitely do that. So here we'll do the max paid and we'll go equals max. And now the max again is in Q. So it's Q2 to Q. This is good practice too. And max Q16 uh, to Q157. Max Q158 to Q, um, sorry, 794. Max Q seven ninety five to Q eight thirty nine. So the max is in this bigger group. Um, we can see how much of an influence it has. So uh, percent max total paid is equal to. You click on the max, you divide it by the total paid for that particular area. It's almost 50%. Yeah, that's why the average is so much higher. I'm just going to change this to a percentage. Can I get away with one? Oh, I didn't want currency. No wonder that was weird looking. Okay, I can get away with one there. Good. Wow, 52.2. These will not be as much, I assume. Yeah, this one is lower. I mean, it doesn't have as much there. Um, this one's the lowest, so it has the least. All right, let's figure out the risk priority number. I think we already know what it is, but the risk priority number is you multiply two numbers. You multiply the percent claims by the total paid. So it's a probability, a pseudo probability, by a pseudo um, severity. That's Kind of, that's kind of one of the things in this analysis, that that's how we prioritize things. We, we're using kind of a risk approach. I'm just going to give it four decimal points. And we'll click these down. And then the biggest number is our biggest priority. Um, by and large, this is our first priority, and this is our second. Um, it accounts for, of the 60%, that's, or the 59.7% that's ref that's available here, it accounts for 54% of it. And um, then down here, the outliers that are below, the ones we took out, um, I mean, that's another 40%. And uh, 
pump manufacturing. That's the first one. So <clears throat> that didn't get a priority. It's the most expensive. It didn't get the priority. But I, I think that's a good thing because we're concerned about frequency. We're concerned about what, where can we get the biggest bang for our buck. There was one really bad accident once in that area, and then there was a secondary one, that, which was the carpal tunnel we had just looked at. Other than that, has been kind of minor, and so um, it's good that we kind of focus on this one and consider possibly looking at um, this one, which is 8% of the total paid, and um, the count is right here, 16%. So remember uh, in class, or if you've ever heard of the term Pareto ratio, Pareto ratio, which is the uh, um, significant few, the insignificant many. We also call it the 80-20 rule. Um, it didn't look good, so I'm going to get rid of it. So do we have 80-20 here? Well, <laughs> pretty much, <laughs> especially if most of the 40% is right there. We've got it right here, and it's one out of eight that's there's the twenty percent right there so um or one out of four rather uh it's quarter um so you know i've prioritized now where i'm going to focus um and i've got this one group now if, if i had let's say i had 20 class codes this becomes more significant it really does and then it helps you prioritize but um we're going to be looking at six three six three two um that's that we're get the biggest bang for our buck. We may lean into 3629 depending on what the causes are. But the other two, even though the pump manufacturing had the most expensive claim and the second one in 21,000, we uh, there isn't much justification to go there and spend a lot of time because they're they're infrequent. Um, this is a fall from a scaffolding. Um, yeah, stepped out onto a work platform, foot slipped. So it's important. It should have been investigated and something done. But right now, we're trying to figure out how to turn around the performance of the safety program. And here's the first step. So what you do is you would kind of write this up. The next step is we're going to look at the causes. But then we're going to go back and look within this one department, the causes within that department, because likely we're going to have to reclassify some of the causes. Um, that was something that was noted in an earlier video. So that overexertion is there, slip trip fall is there, caught and struck by is there. And then we'll have some other variants of that. So with that, I'm going to pause. I'm going to stop this, and next time we'll get into investigating the causes.